video, we're going to identify the type of function that's given in graph A. The next two videos will deal with graph B and graph C. So when we look at graph A, I would describe this graph as looking like a straight line that is decreasing. As we walk from left to right, we go down. So the first thing I would say is a linear function. It's a straight line. I would that it's a decreasing linear function because as you walk from left to right, the graph goes down. Next, I could talk about the intercepts of this line. The y-intercept occurs, x value is zero. It's the point on the graph where the line crosses the vertical axis, the y-axis, and that is the point, zero comma three. The x-intercept is the point graph where the height of the graph is zero, where the y is zero. It's the point on the graph where the intercept is the x-axis. That is the point five comma zero. And lastly, we could talk about the steepness, the slope, the pitch of this line. I see that if you down this line, every time you go over five units from left to right, you will go down three units to land back on the graph. Over five, down three. Over five, down three. Recall that the slope of a line is the change in the output divided by the change in the input. It's the change in y divided by change in x. It's the second y value minus first y value divided by second x value minus first x value. And what we were just describing is that we were going down three every time we go over five. So the slope is negative three-fifths. You can find that slope, if you like, by using any two points on the graph. For example, you could travel from the point zero, three, and travel over to the point five, zero. You could call this first point, point one, the second point, point two, and the slope is y2 minus y1 over 2 minus x1. So in point 2, we have an x value and a value. Since it's point 2, I'll call this x2. It's the x value of point 2. And that's y2. It's the y value of point 2. And this is point 1. It's got an x comma y value. I'll call this x1 because it's the x value of point 1. I'll call this y1 since it's the y value of point 1. So in this case, y2 minus y1 is 0 minus 3. x2 minus x1 is 5 minus 0. And so we get negative 3 over 5. Again, that's the change in y over change in x over 5 from left to right down 3.